kids because yes they're like oh, no, 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 no. i do this for you uh, <laughs> you know they do for the kids one that's not a big yes. thing but they do like with the two balls yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. that's natural yeah. that's fine okay <laughs> what is it like okay on that right watch it snap open it slowly slowly oh wow okay oh my god, god. Yes, I know. i'm not going to do you know him <laughs> do you know him No, I don't know. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, my God. Okay, then you should try this. I just, if you don't mind, sir, try this. Watch. Yeah, she's going to try tonight. That's a different match. Right, good morning, guys. See day two, day three, and we're starting off with the tip of the day. Tip of the day is going to be: you tired of the Lido breakfast buffet? You don't want to go to MDR? Another. Option is Java Blue. It's breakfast sandwiches that is included. So let me show you. some croissants, some muffins, cinnamon rolls. You got the breakfast sandwiches with bacon and sausage. All of them look really good though. No complaints. Okay guys, so we're up here in Serenity. We've had quite the morning already. Um, we lost each other. We lost each other for about two hours. Um, <laughs> miscommunication. Hey, comment down below if, that, if that's happened to you or you lost your cruising partner, your wife, your girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, and uh, lost each other on ship for some time. We did for two hours a day. But uh, showed you guys the, the Java Blue sandwiches that you can get. And I walked around the ship for about an hour hour and a half looking for uh, Shedney here. Yeah, we're like, we're walking. Um, I was going to Java Blue because he said he was going to Java Blue and I could not find him there. And then I went back to their room <laughs> and he was knocking on the door. I said, I'm here, but he did not hear me. Yeah, I'm deaf. And <laughs> I, I looked around the, the ship. She said she was going to Summer's Landing in the pool area to lay out. Uh, I went around there, didn't see her. Apparently she was walking around trying to find me because because the uh, line for uh, Java Blue was long. Yeah. So we just played uh, Ring Around the Rosie with the right. uh, around the ship. It's quite an adventure today. Yeah, but it's actually pretty windy today. We're up in Serenity now. Um, I was trying to find a sun, pretty much. Yeah, it's getting wants to get darker. But we're up here, um, lunch today. We're gonna do uh, the Pig and Anchor, and we're also gonna get a little bit of street eats. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll see what, uh, what the day has for us, guys. All right. All right, so we just stopped for the snack over there and um, uh, street eats. But uh, today for lunch, we're gonna do uh, pick and anchor. So get some good barbecue. the smoked and dewy sausage, the smoked beef, a side of coleslaw, collard greens, and the baked beans. Well, I'm gonna try my baked beans first because I love baked beans. Mm. It's different because it's like a mixture of pinto beans and red beans. It's it's not too sweet. It's good. Let me try collard greens. Um, I'm not a big fan of collard greens, so it's all right for me. Now let's go to the coleslaw. Mm. 
I like sweet coleslaw. That's just me. That's just my preference. Um, I think it has like a lot of mayonnaise. Now, moving on to the meats. Let's try this andouille sausage. Mm. It is good. And my smoked beef. Mm. It is very um, tender, smoky, and it has like that crust that I like. Overall, my meat is very good. I got the other half of the menu for uh, pick an anchor. We'll start off with the sides. Got some mac and cheese here. Yum. So. Mm. Very cheesy. I normally like it the way that uh, Jenny does it where she puts uh, crushed rich crackers on there. But yeah, I like this one. I go for the potato salad. I'm pretty picky about my potato salad, but this one has a lot of onions. I'm not a big fan of onions and potato salad, but without the onion, it would be good. But yeah, decent. All right, let's try the uh, the pork butt. Looks a little dry. We'll see how it is. Yeah, it is a little dry, not overly dry, but <clears throat> it's a good flavor to it. Now for the uh, chicken. Uh, they only gave me this little piece, but it's okay. Oh, wow. Uh, this little chicken leg's got a lot of flavor in there. It really tastes the wood they use, I think. And it's real good. I kind of wish I had more than just this. But yeah, take an anchor. I mean, the lunch menu is uh, different from the dinner one, but uh, yeah, lunch is still good, guys. So, <sighs> took a nap after um, Serenity. Slept a little bit too long. I'm trying to catch up to this game show called What's Age Got to Do With It? Already a little bit late. So, we'll see how it goes. Stool is your parent. So, Junius, we're talking about the parent on the stage. So how tall is your parent? So you can write it maybe in feet, if you know about feet. You can write it in meters. You can write it in stacks of potatoes, if you like. However, Jennifer, how tall are you? Do you know how tall you are in feet or in centimeters? Five feet, eight inches. Five feet, eight inches. Okay. Five feet, eight inches. What did you put, young man? Show the audience. Five foot nine striker. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm gonna let you have that because maybe mummy had shoes on. So that's one point to the blue team. Well done, well done. Okay, and Claire, show the audience how tall's mummy. So Claire over here wrote not tall. And Claire. Hey guys, so apparently at Java Blue, they also have free stuff for lunch or snacks. Some beef empanada from Java Blue Cafe. Oh, it's a different kind of empanada than the one I'm used to. Oh, it tastes like tacos, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yep, I'm right. It tastes like tacos. Try it now. So, that is hot. That is hot. Also got a uh, ice caramel macchiato too. So after the long nap, need caffeine, you know. Mm. It tastes like a taco ball. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
It's not bad. It was good. Uh huh. Mm. Of the uh, game show, Shedney came in. Um, why don't, you tell, why don't you tell people what they um, what you thought about that game show? Um, it's a different kind of game show than. I feel like Carnival Jubilee has some like really interesting shows. Yeah, because the shows that they've been showing here so far are not the normal or accustomed shows that you know we're used to. Because we've been sailing for Carnival for a while, so we kind of like know all their trivias and all their shows, all their production shows. But um, I've noticed that Carnival Jubilee has some like really good um, shows. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I say uh, I agree. Um, yeah, you know the shows like um, I think I've said it before, and I'll, I'll keep saying it. From the celebration last year, the one show you loved and I absolutely hated, yeah, um, was the uh, circus. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was called, but the Never Any Show or Never you know, Best Show or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I didn't like that one. I like shows and game shows stuff that are like you know pretty quick, about forty-five minutes or so. I got no complaints about the shows on uh, Jubilee. It's it's nice. I like it, and they're new, so we felt like, oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Nothing we don't like, you know, the Love and Marriage show. We love the Love and Marriage show, you know. So. I think for today, um, we'll try to get to. I saw on the Carnival Hub app that there is a Rio parade or a Rio show. I think that's gonna be very interesting. What else do we have going on for today? We do have a dinner today at Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Yes. So we'll take you guys with us. After that, we'll get into a couple of shows. Uh, we still got to, uh, you, you, you said you want to keep going back to uh, Mermaid and Inks too. Yes. Um, we're going to get um, a few drinks from Golden Mermaid and Dr. Inks as well. Uh, speaking of which, which actually... Uh, so, for the for the celebration, going to celebration. I don't know. I don't know why you keep going to Carnival Celebration. For, for the uh, Carnival Jubilee, uh, we're going to have nine videos. So, uh, one of the videos is we're going to sample uh, every drink at Dr. Inks mm -hmm. and Golden Mermaid. So, uh, that and we're going to show you everywhere that you can eat on the Jubilee as well. So Yes. So, watch out for those videos. Mm -hmm. Um, so far, it's been a great cruise with Carnival Jubilee. Absolutely. So if you're enjoying the content that yep. we're providing right now, go ahead and give us a uh, like, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll drop a comment down below. Have you sailed on the Jubilee? Have you sailed on the Celebration or the Mardi Gras? How would y'all yes. like it? You know, um, do you think Jubilee's going the right direction? Do you like the changes that they've made? You know? And, uh, I like it. I like it too. Yep. And, and if you think that you're really enjoying that, uh, what we have going on and all mm -hmm. our content, go ahead and subscribe to us. You know? Yes. It helps it, us out a whole yes. lot. And if you have some questions for us too, like feel free to drop us a comment. And usually Scott is the one answering all the comments. <laughs> but yes, he is pretty much like, you know, quick on answering all those questions for you guys. Yeah. So. All right, well, I think we're going to finish my coffee and uh, he talked about going to take an anchor. Yeah, so, so uh, for some shuffleboard. Like, I hope we're just walking because I don't even know how to play shuffleboard. Well, we'll <laughs> see uh, what we get into. <laughs> Mermaid or Dr. Inks and try to uh, 
get more of those drinks. All right, guys, we got all freshened up. We got the 555 Steakhouse. Our looks pretty busy. I but, know. But I think busy is a good thing because it means food's that good. Yep. So we're going to go check in and uh, yeah, have some good steak tonight. Uh, imagine there's a deck of playing card, okay? Act like picking a card, please. Look at it, memorize any playing card which comes in your mind. You got one in your mind? Yes. yes. Show the card to everyone, let everyone see that. Very good. You cannot see anything, just play along. Put it back upside down. Shuff okay, so there is only one card is upside down what she has selected, right? Mm -hmm. So except the baby face girl, we have no idea what the card she was thinking in her mind. But before the trick, I kept the deck right here, right? That is my prediction. If that matches, it's a very good trick, right? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I will be surprised. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. For the first time, ma'am, say to everyone louder, what was the card you were thinking in your mind? Let everyone know what it is. I'm not going to touch it. Of okay. what? Arts, fate, club, diamond, same thing. Okay. So, except that we have no idea that she's going to say 10 of diamonds, right? Watch. I never touched it before she said that. As I told you before, if there's only one card on the deck, is upside down. And if that's the card upside down, Take it out, show it to everyone. And that's exactly 10 off. <laughs> I know, I'm surprised too. Thank you. Okay, great. Hey, okay, uh, funny, uh, squeeze it, squeeze it. Funny, girl, say one, two, three. Uh, say one, two, three now. One, two, three. Open that hand. Open this hand. See the ball change. No? No. I took your watch. Oh! <laughs> yes, I know. I ran the question. I'm sorry. Your phone is also for you. Okay, wait. Oh, this is for you. Oh, my kid is, the phone is right here. Your watch is in your hand. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. Then you guys enjoy it. I'll catch you later. Okay? Yeah. yeah. You can come and watch my show on Friday, 4 o'clock. Friday? Yes. Oh. Have a great evening. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, so we've got some pretty good seats right here. However, because this is actual family feud and uh, not the cheap knockoff. Um, if you know, you know. Um, they do not permit us videoing. Yes. So, um, yeah. 
we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys afterwards. But this is always a good time. We always enjoy seeing this. And uh, if you ever want to cruise, by all means, go see it. It is awesome. It's definitely it is um, a good show from Carnival. Um, we've been to another family feud from another cruise line, and it was not as good as Carnival. No, we can go ahead and say it. It was Royal Caribbean. <laughs> Um, they didn't call it Family Feud, but it was something close enough that you knew they were trying to impersonate. Yeah. And it was just, the rules were just really weird, but mm -hmm. it's going to be good to see actual good yep. like, rules follow. So, all right, we'll see you guys after. We just got done with the Family Feud, and that was hilarious. It was awesome. As always. And the final round for the family, the uh, I think they call them the Troublemakers, I think. No, Bad Influences. Bad Influences, Bad Influences. Uh, wow. And the final round, she did, they didn't even need their number two. Like, nope. she got 202 points just on her, on her own. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. I've hardly ever seen that. Nope. But it's about 10.30 right now. Um, I'm going to find somewhere to sit down, take a load off the feet for a little bit. Um, maybe grab another drink or two. Um, and just kind of mingle a little bit. I'm not going to stay out too late tonight because we have Roatan tomorrow. Yes. Our first port. Uh, and tomorrow for Roatan, we are doing a uh, Paradise Beach. Yeah, we're going to the West Palm Beach area. And so it's like a 45 minutes drive from the port. And so we're just going to do like um, a beach day there. Yeah. Um, hang out on the, at Paradise Beach Resort maybe find some like local foods mm -hmm. and we'll see like you know what activities do they have in there yeah so, maybe some snorkeling so I mm -hmm. forgot to bring my snorkel set that's what it was yeah up there's well, always we'll see there's always something that you forget to bring and I realized yep. that today it was my snorkel do you ever you guys like feel that way like when you're on your cruise and like you always think I was just like man like I feel like I'm forgetting something yeah just comment below yeah. uh, if you've ever forgotten something you're like man I know I'm forgetting something and then once you get on the ship, you're like, oh yeah, that's oh, what yes. it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what I forgot this time. Uh, I might pick something up cheap uh, out in town, maybe on ship a little bit, mm -hmm. who knows. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to fly the drone tomorrow at the uh, beach so you guys can see how beautiful the beach is and the yes. water. I've heard good things about West Palm Beach area and so we're trying to check it out. This is our second time third. coming at, oh, third? Yeah. Okay. It's our third time coming to Roatan. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely not a new port, but it's, we're doing something different than what we usually do. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go maybe have another drink or two tonight. Um, no other shows going on, unfortunately. I mean, we ended it with a bang with uh, Family Feud, so can't complain too much with that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that's it for us tonight. Uh, this is the second sea day, number three. So uh, stay tuned for day four and first port for Roatan. All right, guys, happy cruising.